Ahoy hoy everyone! Today I've got a nice special treat for you. Today we're going to be playing Helldivers 2 with the N64 controller. It's going to be a whole lot of fun and if you're into this kind of, you know, crazy challenges of me using this old 90s controller to play modern games, then be sure to give the video a like and while you're at it you might as well subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part too. <laughs> now, there's a couple of reasons I want to play Helldivers 2. One, I only recently just got it, and it's a lot of fun, so I thought, hell, why not try it out with the N64 controller? But there's another couple of reasons as well. I mean, reason number one, this game is obviously heavily inspired by um, things like Starship Troopers, which came out in the late 90s, uh, that sort of time when the uh, N64 was roaming free. And also around that time is also when uh, Jet Force Gemini came out, so I like to think this is what Jet Force Gemini would have would look like if uh, Rare were allowed to make that kind of game today because, you know, we get to kill a lot of bugs and uh, save planets and it's all a little bit over the top and uh, when you get to a high enough level you even get a little dog that can shoot guns for you so, you know, very Jet Force Gemini-esque. Okay, so first of all I'm just going to talk very briefly how um, I'm playing this so obviously like all of the um, PC games I've been playing I'm using Steam Input you can see on screen my uh, controller mappings, and yes, if you need more help with that, I made a guide recently for how to set up games for this, so check that out, and you can basically copy this. I'll also uh, put this on the community as well, so you can just download this. However, uh, a, something a little bit different I had to do for Helldivers, which I don't normally like doing, was I had to change the con some of the controller bindings just to make it make sense. Luckily this game has some really good controller bindings where you can control like tapping and stuff so for instance to dive I changed this to long press and changed prone to double tap so I was able to do that. I think same for climb and sprint I changed around a bit but yeah going down here um, I think then for combat I had to change how the aiming uh, worked and a few of the other things along here, especially with the deep, using the D-pad for equip different equipment, so making sure I could use my stims, my grenades, and equip my all my different equipment. I basically had to unbind most of the comm stuff because that was just getting in the way, but I don't think we'll need that, so we'll be fine. So I've got it in a state which I think works okay, at least. So let's move on to gameplay and let's dive into hell and kill some nasty bugs because remember the only good bug is a dead bug that's right okay let's choose a mission and i'll see you when we're going down to the surface okay it's time to dive into hell as i press a to get into my hell pod we're gonna i've not played much you can see i'm only level four and i'm doing this on easy because i'm on my own for this one but after this i might play another mission with some friends um if they'll allow me to so yeah let's just dive in over here equip my stratagems I only really have three basic ones and then let's ready up which is the capture button I have bound as select I think that is and we're launching off from the superintendent of family values down to the planet surface and yes superintendent Chalmers I mean Super Nintendo Chalmers is definitely gonna be proud of us after this one I hope we might fail miserably it is even I, this game is quite tricky, I think, at least when you're on your own. And using the this controller can make things a little bit harder. So let's steer our hell pod down towards this building. And we can I could show off some of the controls whilst we're on the surface. So as usual, obviously the control stick is to move. We can aim like this. And right right button holding it down will go into aiming mode. Uh, a, I've got a sprint, but also to climb. B will put me either into prone, or if I need to, I can do my heroic de lie uh, heroic dive slash leaps. A is also to pick stuff up, which is nice. Um, if I want to do my stratagem, so yeah, let's call in my machine gun. It's on the left bumper, and the nice thing about the left bumper is that then naturally I go to where the D-pad is, and then that's much easier to put the strategy and input in than the control stick so I think that's quite nice We've got our machine gun so if we press left on the d-pad it will cycle between our two guns right on the d-pad we'll get our machine gun out um, up on the d-pad we'll do our stim and down we'll equip a grenade and oh yeah and of course uh, Z underneath is to shoot um, but 
we're going to just pick up all the stuff, get some samples, very good. And obviously we are going to salute for freedom and democracy. And, oh, we've been spotted by some bugs. Just some little bugs, but let's... I just got my brand new shotgun, which is going to make short work of these. Don't... Uh oh, oh. Reload is um, on the little ZR button, but I let him summon friends, which is not good. Um, but this shotgun does make short work of these big guys now, which is nice. Just going to reload that. Okay, they're all dead, so I can press the capture button to bring up my map to see which way I need to go. I need to head north. Okay, awesome. Let's head towards the objective and see what happens on the way. Okay, we've come across what looks like a bug site, so... Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's call in our precision strike and just hope that there's a load of bugs on the other side of this rock that we're gonna... We're gonna just blast them from orbit. Here it comes. Boom! Okay, that sounded good. Okay, we need to quickly equip our grenades, lob them in the holes, get our gun back out, blast. Blast these bugs. The shotgun is good. Uh, grenade out, aim, throw, back to gun, shoot. Try not to die. Uh. Oh yeah, I, I can't melee. I never bounce that button because I, I've i never actually used it. But maybe that's just me. But yeah, let's blast all of these bugs. Hopefully get this... Last fire in the hole. Yes, we have done it. Democracy has achieved its victory here, but let us continue towards this base, which I think is the objective. Bring him yes, it is. Cool. So we're going to have to do some fuel pump stuff. So I might, just in advance... Oh, I've messed it up. Down, up, left, left, up on the D-pad. And we'll just call a sentry down on this hill will hopefully help us out. Oh, this gun is so much... Ooh, got the sentry. Yeah. Gotta remember, friendly fire is a big thing in this, so... Gotta watch out for that. I need to find the terminal. Which this bug is trying to use. Ooh, that's a... You're a bigger bug. Ugh. Oh no! I got an achievement and I was reading that and I got killed. But that's fine. We're gonna get... We're gonna get redeployed. And we're gonna get straight back into bug killing action. Hello you. Blam. Get my samples back. Okay, we could do the terminal. Oh yeah, I got my machine gun back too. Cool, we can do our terminal. Up, up, up. Right, up, down, up. Okay. Gotta do some other... Gotta do the pipe puzzle from um, Bioshock. Oh, those are locked, so I think I need to um, unlock these, right? We've been spotted. Time to unleash hell with our big machine gun. I hope we don't die. They're called in friends. That is called democracy. Let's chuck a grenade down there. Let's unload my shotgun into them. And like that, I have solved the puzzle. And now I need to do the valves. Okay, one valve done. Freedom is marching onwards. Oh. I just need to extract. I thought I would have to launch the ICBM, but no, I guess we're just fueling it up. Cool. Let's march on then. Even, we got our little submachine gun pistol, which is good for clearing out these little, little guys. Back towards the extraction site. 
I found something. What is that? The railgun. That sounds fun. Got more medals to collect. Some more samples. Nice. More grenades. Cool. Let's try this railgun out. Right, we've made it to the extraction point with little to no interference. And we can call in our extraction. And whilst we're doing that, we might as well call in the newly added Patriot Exosuit. Kablamo. Might as well also do our machine gun sentry. Just chuck it over there, I guess. And these guys look like they just want an orbital strike. Right, let's get in our big new robot. Oh yeah. No idea how I use the uh, rockets for the controller. It's not that one. It's probably left trigger, which I don't have bound to anything, but at least we can use like overwhelming force with our robot. Even if I can't use the rockets. These are all... It's still an easy mission, so they're all fairly basic bugs. Die. Do you like the mechs I just added? They are pretty cool. Cool if I could use the rocket launcher, but whatever. 30 seconds to come in, but yes. I think this mission shows you it's definitely playable with an N64 controller, but this was a, quite an easy dif difficulty, and yeah, so I think after this, gonna play with some friends, I think, or some other people, the higher difficulty, see how much of a burden I can be. Get rail guns. I missed. Pelican 1, save me. Nice, Pelican 1, you saved me. Now don't run me over. Ooh, I thought it was good. Ah, uh, get in the ship. And there we go. The Nintendo 64 controller has achieved democracy. As we fly back to our ship, we'll see how terribly we did, but that's fine. That was just a solo mission. I just wanted to very quickly show off how the controller worked. And yeah, we'll try some more high intensity ones when I can find some people to play with. Um, the mission has been completed. I've. That was good. Lots of points. Maybe I'll have some more, more toys to play with as well by the time I find some people to play with and I can play more with the N64 controller. Because, you know, as I said at the beginning, this is inspired by 90s media and this. I, it's like physical 90s media, I guess. It's an N64 controller. And yeah, of that time, it was very good. So. I'll catch you in a second, but first of all, we gotta see our see our b brave boy return to Super, Inten Super Nintendo Chalmers, and here he is, glorious victory! Salute democracy! Leave a like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and we will see how good our stats were. Look at that accuracy, 26%. Not too bad, I would say. So I will see you in a minute when I'm jumping in with some more hard missions with more people. Alrighty, here we go. It's time to fight for democracy. I'm joined by my friend Magnet Thatcher here. Do a salute. Do it. Do it for freedom. That's one of the only things I don't, I don't have it bound, so you need to do it. I don't know how... Oh no! But yes, let's go fight some bugs or something for freedom. For freedom! Ah! Gobbler! <laughs> Gobbler! <laughs> <laughs> cool. Proceed to pod. I'm gonna pod up. Pod people. Oh, we're just doing... Okay. Uh, cool. Choosing just strategy. It's just a little one, yeah. Maybe the my ex I've got a new weapon, an explosive crossbow, but I don't know if that'll be good in close quarters. Oh well, only one way to find out.
Democracy. I love democracy. For democracy. Okay, we dropped in. Now I gotta remember all my buttons because I actually don't remember. Okay, let's. Uh... It's actually so much easier to do the DDR stuff, the those things when you're using a D-pad than using the keyboard. I think. Oh jeez. Double tap what to swap weapon? Okay. Oh, this holds multiple rounds in it. It's actually better than I thought. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. One just dived in front of me as I shot my explosive. Oh and... god! <laughs> oh dear! This is not going well! <laughs> Well, it's okay. Reinforcements coming in. Probably call like a sentry in or something. Call a day on a sentry. Uh, I'm trying no, to remember. Start. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the. I could have done with a less hectic one <laughs> to remember what my buttons are. Oh god. I fell down this hole and died. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, my sentry just killed like 24 bugs, so that's pretty good. Oh dear. Oh, big boy. Yeah, there's a my quasar cannon somewhere, but no idea where. Careful now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not going well. Um, see if you can land on the big boy. But I can't even see him. Oh, I think you got him. Awesome. Good job. Got his ass. Okay, there's my quasar cannon. Uh... Oh no. Holy shit. I forgot what button I had to dive, it's B, not A. Whoopsie. <laughs> well, I'm dying so easily. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm wearing light armor as well, which is not good for these missions. I got some high ground. High ground, Anakin. Mm. I've just spawn and die. Um, oh, nice. And get me up here, can you? Um, some of them might. <laughs> Oh, oh shit, yeah. yeah. Those ones can, the jumpers. Oh shit, I'm supposed to reinforce you, aren't I? <laughs> yes. I've still got most of them distracted. Another big boy coming in. Oh shit. Uh, what did I bind the stim to? I can't remember what I bound stim to! <laughs> I'm dead! We've only done 53. Ah! <laughs> okay. This was too much of a warm up. I'm too warm, I have to take my. deal. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I guess it's up to me. I guess it's up to me. <sighs> you just killed Ron Howard. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Need my quasar cannon. Oh, I've got these rocket pods. That's nice. Requesting air support. This crossbow is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Whoopsie, okay. Except when you hit the edge of the hell pod thing in front of you. Well, that didn't go well. <laughs> but we've got plus missions can be so hard. Yeah, those missions can be quite tough. Um, especially if you've not equipped for it, like I was. I had light armor and a single fire weapon. Not good against close range hordes. And there you have it. That was a brief look at playing Helldivers 2 with the Nintendo 64 controller. So we played a couple of missions there, one on my own, one with a friend, that ended horribly. I'm also going to play some more, so stay tuned for episode 2 where me and Magna Thatcher will do a larger mission. Can we do this and succeed where we didn't in the small mission? Well, you're going to have to subscribe and stay tuned to find out. So overall, yes. It was a fun ex it's a fun experience, if a little bit difficult, so... And if there are any other modern games you want to see me play with the N64 controller, be sure to let me know in the comments below, and stay tuned for some more Helldivers! Until next time, goodbye!